What you're about to see is a demonstration of our work on mesh optimization. By mesh optimization, we mean the reduction of the number of vertices in an initially dense mesh of triangles while trying to fit a data set of points as well as possible. Our approach to solving the problem is based on minimizing an energy function that embodies the two desired goals of good geometric fit to the data and conciseness of representation. We see at least two applications of mesh optimization, surface reconstruction from unorganized points and mesh simplification. The problem of reconstructing a surface from data points scattered in three dimensions is becoming increasingly important. One application is the recovery of surfaces from laser range data. Here we see a collection of 4,100 data points obtained from a simulated laser range finder. We have developed a two-phase procedure for reconstructing surfaces from data such as this. The goal of the first phase is to determine the topological type of the surface and to obtain a crude approximation to the geometry. The output of phase one, shown here, is a dense mesh of triangles. We then use mesh optimization in the second phase to reduce the number of vertices and to improve the geometric fit. The optimization algorithm is free to change the number of vertices, their position, and their connectivity. This pre-computed animated sequence shows the state of the mesh as optimization proceeds. Notice that the edges of the triangles tend to align with directions of low curvature, since such a configuration leads to the best fit of the data with the least number of vertices. In this example, the number of vertices in the mesh has been reduced by a factor of 10. Mesh simplification refers to the problem of reducing the number of vertices in a dense mesh while minimally perturbing its shape. To simplify meshes, we first randomly sample a number of points on the mesh. We then use the dense mesh as the starting point for optimization. In this example, we have sampled 4,500 points from an initial mesh consisting of 260 vertices. Once again, this pre-computed animated sequence shows the evolution of the mesh as optimization progresses. The final mesh consists of only 53 vertices. Despite the factor of 5 reduction in the number of vertices, the maximum deviation between the initial and final meshes is roughly 1%.